The craziest thing is how in fiction, a lot about what they talk about is true. Remember the tree of Awa in that movie that the sequel is coming out for Avatar? It's really talking about the tree of life. Or um, uh, Stargates. It's actually the stars have gates and you, the demons can come through them and when you hit a your third eye trance-like state in Rosicrucianism, Masonry, uh, witchcraft, what, no matter which path you take, the stars fall into you is what they all record. It's like that, or for the average the liberal, a DHT, bro, it was just a, no, a DMT trip. It was DMT, bro. I don't know how much I believe in teleporting, but Alistair Crowley talked about like he had a he had some magic about going invisible or some shit like that. Which actually there's been a lot of fake prophets throughout history who just disappeared from their village. Like when everyone started going, bro, you're not actually the Messiah, we're gonna cut your head off, they just disappear. Like nobody can find them. Yeah, the penile gland is your third eye. The, your retina receptors, there's more in the in the cave of your mind. And yeah, all these masons talk about how modern science ascribes to this, this as useless, but actually they know that there's something to it. There's a, everything to it actually. It's also in the it's also in the Bible, right? Uh, Jacob wrestles with God, right? And then, I don't know how they spell penile or pineal, but I forget how they spell it, but yeah. Also in all these Masonic texts, they talk about um, everything in life being about frequencies, vibration, and microwaves and all that. Everything is electromagneticism. And they also talk about polarity. So hot and cold is the same thing, just different degrees. And, but then that goes far. And then they say good and evil is the same thing, just different degrees. But we know good and evil is the duality concept of Luciferianism, right? Because to do evil, you need good. So the new age people are right when they talk about vibrations. Look at who started new ageism. Look at the magazine. It's Masonic magazine. It'll it'll blow your mind. It's going to be in my documentary. I'll go into it. But uh, yeah, they're right about a lot of stuff. Actually, when you look at Masonic literature, 80% of it is correct and the truth. And when they try and deceive you, they're doing it on purpose and you can kind of tell, right? So a lot of times they do this, um, like go look at when Albert Pike or any of these guys talk about a globe, they give you a whole sentence winking at the flat earth. And then they say, we can't go into details about the globe, right? And then all these guys who are Jesuits, the globe, heliocentric model proposed by a Jesuit priest. But uh, yeah, it's like very easy to tell when Masons are lying, unless you're in Freemasonry, then you can't tell because you're like, oh, I'm, I'm with the good guys, right? But then the, the higher up you go, it becomes painfully obvious that they don't worship the light, they worship the bringer of light, which is like, who's bringing the knowledge? Who is bringing the knowledge and why is knowledge the opposite of faith? And some people are like, to be knowledgeable is the best, John. How are doctors knowledgeable? You, my doctor has man boobs. He's a fat, ugly, disgusting. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, you went to med school, but never figured out calories in versus calories out. And it's like, you're at that level of fat where it's like, I can get you lean without you suffering. Like, how were you not able to stay? I can look at your body type and I know with, I don't have to 
get a client to starve to lose body fat. I can just change the percentage and macros and then they'll, they'll just start being full and not eating as much and they'll cut weight. But doctors, like, are fat. They don't understand macronutrients. And you're like, dude, you went to school for like 20 fucking years, bro, or like 12 years. How do you not know? It's scary, dude. It's it's like the basics of life, people just don't master, right? And I, why I was obsessed with mastering macronutrients is because I want to eat chunk and I want to eat a lot of food still. You know, I still want to try cake every 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 now and then and or whatever. And so that's why I'm like, I'm going to master, uh, like if I get out of shape, I'll, I'll know how to bounce back within a few weeks. But doctors don't know, like doctors are very stupid people, you know, doctors have not even figured out a cure for the common cold. It's kind of pathetic. It's like, bro, we've been here for thousands of years. Get there faster, bro. I think 80% of the time home remedies are better for me than, than seeing the doctor I, i'll see a surgeon i won't see a doctor like doctors are so stupid nowadays right they, this is what he does he holds his ipad and he just guesses he just guesses uh you know what just have to have an advil yeah doctors are huge scammers dude it's like why do people worship doctors it's just so cringe man What's the difference from a doctor and a surgeon? One is a specialist and the other is a... You're asking what's the difference from your family doctor and a cardiologist? You do a doctor knows nothing about the heart. You f Do you know who's a doctor? Mushi. <laughs> you know Mushi, the girl who's lost every single debate to me, even medical debates. She lost every single debate to me. She's a doctor. She's a practicing doctor. She's not just in school. She's the one who said, yeah, maybe the earth's flat when she lost so hard. Like you worshiping Mushi, my twin brother. He said something on my uh, stream. I'm just sitting next to him and I'm like observing, right? I don't talk to him much about this stuff. And he's like, it comes down to identity. He say he says everything comes back to identity, and when I, the more I thought about it that night, I lost a lot of sleep that night. I woke up the next day and started a six-month-long project just because of what he said, because he really pretty much just said, "Zerka, you're going to be remembered for being very attractive to women if you don't clean up your act." And I'm like, whoa, if I died right now, people would remember me as a, like a woman, womanizer. And I started having anxiety and I woke up and I started my documentary. I finished six books on masonry. I did everything I could to get back into my Alex Jones circuit. And I'm like, man, if, I, if I didn't hear that, what he said, I would have never had that uh, panic. How are your teeth so white? They're reconstructed, dude. There's a Tesla in my mouth. Only invest in yourself because even if you have low motivation, the more, when, every time you look in the mirror, you remember, damn, those <laughs> don't pay themselves. You gotta start talking with these teeth, bro. And the greatest hormone profile you'll ever have is either fasted state or proteins and fats. Cause most carbs are just straight up, like sugar will kill your ass. Sugar and dairy will kill your ass. But it's so hard to function on just fats and proteins. If you're reading a book, it helps. But if you're working out, if you're an athlete, you need carbs. And it's like really picking your poison. If you wanna live very strong, you put in the carbs. But if you wanna live very long, you know, sugar is gonna take you out. You know, they, you can't even avoid sugar. You know, like you can't ever run a keto. It's impossible. It's impossible to avoid sugar. But uh, I think you should, if you want to go nuts on sugar, it should be fruits. I think fruits is the most underrated. Since I run a red pill channel, nobody ever talks about fruits. It's always like red meat and shit like that. 
but fruits are the key to life right fruits are the only way you stay hydrated drinking water you just start peeing all day fruits are like sponges man it just keeps me so ready i even eat lemons i eat all sorts of fruits when i'm on routine and uh like when i'm at home when i'm on vacation i barely had fruits and i felt like shit so i'd sometimes get um those 7-eleven disgusting fruit cups it was just not the same Why do I pee out all my water? Sounds like you have an estrogen problem. If you're higher in estrogen, you hold water. If you're lower in estrogen, you, it's hard for you to read books, learning, and you flush a lot. You pee throughout the night. So, but that doesn't mean you should take drugs to balance that out. Like you need to find another way. Like I had one guy DM me saying, I flush and pee out everything, John, so therefore I'm gonna um, take Dianabol to spike my estrogen. I was like, don't do that. <laughs> no, I don't appeal to science. You know, Freemasons say, and I don't quote Freemasonry like they're my coaches in life. I'm just saying they expose a lot. Like, they do a lot. And they say, they say pretty much most mainstream science is bullshit. Like, go read Masonic psychology and then read a regular psychology textbook from college, it's it's almost opposite advice. It's scary how different it is. Masonic psychology talks about two planes of existence, the masculine and the feminine, and regular psychology says gender doesn't even fucking exist anymore or whatever. <coughs> you probably know more about Freemasons than Masons. Yeah, my final step is just to go hallucinate into my third eye and then relay the information. But most people who do that have never gone live again. Most people who do that never, ever go talk about it. Most people who see God, which is really satanic what they're doing. And at first I thought I read so much useless information because I'm like, Nobody on earth reads about masonry. Usually they go into masonry and then they stay to witchcraft and but I, I only stay on masonry. And and I love it. It betters me. It, it it's like I love knowing what the enemy is thinking. I love it. It's it just calms my soul. <clears throat> I love that they're dumb enough to put it in books. You do that with your TV? Okay, you're a retard. I haven't used my TV in like 10 years. <clears throat> I don't think it's a thousand pages. Isn't it like 800 pages? How the fuck did you read that? It's not boring. Is it, it, it's, bo it's boring to the average person because you guys don't... <clears throat> have a grasp of the English language right but if you're into English like the English language it's they're not big words dude at all right it's just awkwardly worded so sometimes it'll say like um, this is the only organ that seats the office of the soul and then the when a regular person reads it they go man this is hard but I already speak like a poet, so for me it's fun. For me it's like... For, I already speak like a retard. I speak like Yoda, so it makes a lot of sense to me. <clears throat> That's definitely my favorite book, especially when it talks about God. When Pike starts talking about God, and there's like this humility to, to, to the chapter, it's... Yeah, I've never seen someone describe God so perfectly and still go to the devil. It's actually pathetic. Now, I could never be a Mason because they'd make me want... I would never swear an oath on anything but to God or to or on the Bible, but that's Max. 
greatest myth in history is that the, the dark ages or medieval times were horrible. That's the greatest myth. That's as big as Tartaria or Atlantis. Random dude came in my chat like a year and a half ago and it stuck with me, but I didn't talk about it. Uh, he said, have you noticed how blurry medieval times are in history? And I'm like, yeah, when you look at history, that's the blurriest part of history, right? That is the blurriest, where it's like nothing makes sense. The timeline is so unreal. It's like hard to understand, you know, like Rome is easier to understand than... <clears throat> and that makes sense because everything that uh, Rome pushed into the world, well, they never let go of power, right? The Club of Rome is still the biggest institute out there right the greatest propagandists so it's like no wonder rome's so easy to understand and medi medieval times are suppressed because they never left the seat of power no i don't believe in multiple universes but uh, there are multiple dimensions manny p hall P grand wizard pike they all talk about that up to seventh universe, which is the energy of Saturn, Saturday, Saturnia, Satan, and remember, Satan fell from God one layer down. So the seventh planet, or the seventh wandering star, where all of the demonic energy is right there, closest to God, but it's a, it's God's adversary. Yeah, and spirits, whether good or bad, this is how Masons describe it, or even Alistair Crowley talks about spirits being good and bad, and the strongest ones are in these planets, and you can summon it, summon it through that spell circle, the incantation as you cut your finger and bleed onto the whatever spell you've cast, casted, and... The seven planets also reflect the seven vital organs. And yeah, it's just everything cosmic you can use to your benefit. That's how Crowley explained it. If you don't know who Crowley is, he was knighted by the queen. And all he's known for is blood magic and ritual. Mostly gay magic. Yeah, Kabbalah, yeah. Or Eastern mysticism is the best way to describe it. Because there's different types of mysticism that you, like in Freemasonry, mysticism is of all old uh, hermetic practices combined. Whereas Crowley's is more like 80% to do with Eastern mysticism, which is the most satanic. But yeah. Why did they cut themselves to get the blood? I don't know, but these guys have like billions of dollars, so... They're doing something correct. For what they want, at least. I kind of want to test out a ritual because I don't believe in this. It won't work for you, Swashi. Because you already don't believe in it, right? Because you need intention behind the, the ritual. So it doesn't really work for nihilists, atheists. It only works for the people who are... Uh, on hallucinogenics, on drugs, or seriously meditating, like hardcore. And a lot of them hallucinate through fasting and starvation. But, uh, yeah. It's weird though, people will not believe in rituals bending space, time, and matter. But they'll believe that when you when you don't look at an object, it's not there. And that's physics. All the atoms are just not aligned until you look at it. So it's like, you can't have it both ways. You either believe in magic or you don't. Yeah, 33rd degree is the only real mason, true. 
Multi universe theory is ret that's stupid. And again, that's giving infinity to like matter. It doesn't make any sense. Matter ends, bro. Hypnotism is something nobody talks about. It's nowhere. You know what I mean? But it's huge. Hypnotism is definitely a type of magic. I think the craziest thing is uh, psychic photography. When you look into psychic photography, the stuff I talk about doesn't seem crazy at all. Yeah, a lot of mind control. Well, mind control has been mastered in World War II, so imagine how good they are now. Now they're crushing it. Uh, yeah, Reddit actually has a lot of good Masonic shit. It doesn't go that deep, but it's like accurate. Yeah, remote viewing and astral plane. I always thought that shit's real. But there used to be a bunch of science behind it and then it got buried. The creepiest one is psychic photography. Cause it's like photography through the mind. You don't do anything, you just focus.